Hi guys, I am here today to make a newborn essential video. Um, these are things I used with my firstborn. He's now 17 months, but as I am, you know, 24 weeks pregnant here, I'm starting to gather the stuff and see what I have and what I don't have. And I'm just trying to get things ready for the new baby a little bit. And I figured these are all things I'm going to use kind of in the first, you know, weeks, maybe in the first few months. So I thought I would make a video on the things that I found useful with my first baby. Um, as newborn essentials. I'm sure baby number two, some of these things we won't use, and maybe some of these things we will use. Maybe I'll use other things, but at least this kind of gets me ready for baby number two, so I'm not going crazy um, shopping for things at the last minute. Um, with baby one, I ended up with Amazon Prime because I was getting stuff all the time. Also, in this video, this is um, not, you, you know, you already know you need your work class, you need your onesies, you need diapers, you need butt cream, you need all of that kind of stuff. So this is kind of more in-depth detail stuff that you need. I would say the beginning, um, my first thing, is the hospital gave me these pacifiers. He loved these. This was the only pacifier he would use at first. And then one day he spit it out and he was done with this one. But he wasn't done sucking. Um, so... We got him the nuke ones where the pacifier goes up and now he loves these and these are the only ones he will use. Um, but I would say these ones lasted a good two or three months, possibly. Um, he was a kind of a colicky baby so he cried a lot in the beginning. That was one thing besides walking him that um, made him not as fussy. But he really required a lot of walking since he was my only baby. I would just hold him and walk laps around my house. Um, with a baby number two, I'm thinking I'm going to need a really good carrier. I mean, I have one, and I, I never used it. I really, I used it maybe three times. Um, because he just, I don't know, I would just hold him, or I would put him in his stroller, and we would stroll up and down the street. Um, and I had the car seat that would click into the stroller, and... So that was pretty much how we would get around places if we were going to the mall or even the doctor's appointments or anything like that. Um, with the next baby, since I'm going to have one, a toddler and a stroller, I'm probably going to baby wear or maybe it'll go in the, the, you know, a double stroller. I'm not sure yet, but I would really like a nice um, carrier. I have a baby Bajorn, but I'm looking to get a Tula this time, but we'll see. Maybe I won't even need it. Um, a noise machine. This one has different settings. I'm not sure if it works. It does. But um, it's a whale, ocean, rain, and stream. And this is the one I had at first. It was a gift. Um, it had 25 minutes and 45 minutes settings. I used this for probably the first three months, but I found one that doesn't have a time cutoff was better. So I ended up buying a bigger one. He's using it still right now at 17 months old during his nap. And I just put it on, I think, ocean waves, really light, and he's in there sleeping to that right now. But I do still have this one. I might use it with a new baby. I might use that one. I might have to get another one of those. I'm not sure yet. Um, I breastfed, and I was not a very good pumper. I would try. But I still had um, nipple shields and other things and pacifiers to clean. So I loved having this. It's And it actually, like, suctioned on to my counter. Um, other what the ones without the suctions drove me nuts. This one is by Munchkin brand. Um, I've had some Dr. Brown ones that were good and other ones, but I really like this one. This would get in the different parts of the pacifiers and stuff to clean them out really good. I never boiled anything, but yes, you can. Okay, the nail clippers. The nurses will not clip their nails. I guess there's a liability with their little fingers. Nurses have been known to clip their skin off and just it stays that way. It's like permanently cut off a little bit of their finger. So for liability reasons, they explained to me they do not cut nails. Um, we were in the hospital for a week. He was in the NICU. I didn't really worry about it then because we had bigger problems. But when I came home, I was like, oh, he's got some long nails. Um, I tried using clippers. I tried using a nail file. It didn't work. The idea of cutting them with my teeth, like I know some moms will put their baby's fingers in their mouth and like just like chew their nail off. I've never been a nail biter. That totally grosses me out. So this has a little angle on it. You can see. So it would just go right around their finger and I cut them like scissors. And I would do it when he was nursing. So if he was on this boob, I would do his, what, his 
right hand and then this two group I would do his left hand and it was really easy. It's getting harder as he gets older but now I have him watch um, Thomas and I still use these and he's 17 months. Okay the other thing when you have a newborn you're not eating as much as you should be because you're so exhausted. You don't even want to shower. All your extra time you just want to sleep or lay down and rest. So one thing I found very useful um, was to have cheese slices and I would buy them already sliced up. I wouldn't even slice them myself. That's how because it is more expensive and I am cheap but if you're gonna if it forces you to eat and just grab a slice or two as you're passing the fridge it's totally worth it. Um, and after about 12 weeks I came out of my fog. Some women say it's six weeks and they were out of their fog. Not me. It was definitely longer. So I would do cheese slices and then by my nursing where I would always nurse him I would have mixed nuts. I would have like different trail mix packages. Um, sometimes M&M's and even um, Craisins with the um, Greek yogurt covered ones. And sometimes I would just have them all out there just snacks to grab and eat as he was nursing. And then sometimes I would just get a big Tupperware and I would dump all this stuff into the Tupperware and I would just eat it like a big trail mix. Um, it, you know, it was better than constantly eating just like a spoonful of peanut butter because that gets old too. Or something really bad like, you know, junk, junk, junk food. I, I got this as a gift from one of my husband's friends, um, the happiest baby on the block, and it came with a book and a DVD, and I thought this was awesome. I would almost recommend this before you go into labor, to read it and read about it or watch the DVD. I also read Baby Wise, but again, I did this once my baby was already born, and I was having like sleep issues and all these questions, so sometimes I wish I had watched this stuff before I had the newborn, but I watched it when I had a newborn. Um, they had lots of colicky and gas issues, even though I was breastfeeding, exclusively breastfeeding. It, would, it was like he was on formula or something. I don't understand. So we ended up using grape water. Um, and there's also gas drops, and these are by Little Remedies. You just put a little bit in a syringe, and it must be sweet because he would get so excited. He would open his mouth like a little bird, and you'd go put the drops in. Um, I'm not sure how much it really worked or how much it was a placebo effect on me that it was working. But honestly, of all the stuff we had tried, I felt like it worked the most um, to help with the gas relief and the stomach problems. And I would give it to him before bedtime, at night. I don't think I did it for naps, maybe a little bit, but not really. Mostly it was um, at night for his long stretch of sleep, which wasn't very long. This kid mostly slept for like an hour at a time, and that was it. Um, some other newborn things that I loved. I love the boppy. I know a lot of women do not like the boppy and they just use a towel or their arms. I am, I always sat on the couch or in his chair in his room and fed him and I loved this boppy. I think I used it almost every time and when I didn't have it, like if I was in the car or on the go, I really didn't like it as much. So much prefer the boppy. Um, then someone gave me the boppy lounger. And this is where you just lay the baby here, their head here, and their little feet over here. And I would carry this around the house those first few weeks. If I was in the living room, if I was in the office, if I was in the kitchen, I would just, he'd be sleeping on this, and I'd pick it up and I would move it to wherever I am. I know people have little baskets and bassinets on wheels and all different kinds of stuff, um, but I found that to be the most useful. Um, the other thing is to stock up on paper products, paper plates. Um, plastic silverware, tons of paper towels, tons of toilet paper, tons of soap. I would get the big thing and so I could just refill my little soaps because these are things you're going through but you don't want to necessarily you know have to run to the store and buy them. Not only that with a newborn I was putting him as carrier in the buggy at the grocery store and I would only use the bottom and then a little bit of the edges for my groceries so no I did not want to take up my you know grocery cart with things like paper towels and paper plates and just like disposable things that you just kind of go through at the beginning. Um, I just found it to be very useful. Now I do Amazon Prime for a lot of that stuff, but a lot of that stuff I still don't do. So I will make sure I probably have a three month supply so I don't have to mess with it. Um, it's just easier that way. I have enough room in my garage to store that stuff. So if you do have the room, totally do that. Um, 
or get on Amazon Prime and they can bring it to you every month so you don't have to store so much. But it's definitely helpful, especially when you're shopping and you have limited space in your buggy, um, unless you can leave the baby at home all the time, which was not really practical for me. So it just depends on your situation. Um, I will show you a few more things in the baby's room. Okay, so this is a coat rack right now, but um, <laughs> and my storage. But we did use it a lot before he was walking. Um, the playpen, but it also had the contraption that goes on top that makes it a bassinet. I did not like that. I will be getting a different bassinet this time, and I am not sure what. But this is the pack and play by Graco. Um, I do like the pack and play part. I didn't like the bassinet part. So if you can just buy the pack and play part, I would do that. And this is the bassinet part that would lay over the um, playpen. It's not my favorite, but you can kind of see it's been sitting here on the floor next to the crib for a while now. Um, a few things that you do absolutely, absolutely need is one of these for their little nose when they get gunk in it. I don't really remember using it much, but I know some people, it just depends on the baby how much you're going to use it. And then, yeah, see, still some of my pink stuff. Um, a thermometer. This one I would just press and it would digitally start. The battery's kind of dying on it. And place it on the baby's head. For two or three seconds, it would beep multiple times again and it would give you the temperature. 67.3, which is probably how cold it is in my house right now. This is the other noise machine I was talking about, and it just stays on until you turn it off. Well, it has multiple settings. Um, back to the changing table, and this is one thing, I still have a pink camper. <laughs> one thing that I definitely um, liked having, someone gave me this when he was like three months old, but I keep all his little diaper creams here, his wipes that I get through Amazon. My favorite butt cream of all the butt creams. <laughs> that one and then I put diapers in here the diapers in here we're low right now we're waiting for our Amazon delivery actually um the other main thing it's hard to store so it's been here but when the new baby comes it will be out is the swing we use this swing the Fisher Price one the on and off button this would go all the way up to like five speed which is what we always had to put it on and had different music and the mobile and it had um you know the the cushion which was never enough so i cut one of the old girl blankets i had to fit in here and i cut it so these could come through i still have this that was pink but it doesn't really matter because it's just i use it just because sometimes Especially when they were newborn, they get leaky diapers and everything, so it doesn't always have to ruin this, even though I have multiple of these changing pad covers. I always use the changing station. Since he was a newborn, I have used the changing station. Um, I know some people will change a diaper anywhere. My mom comes here. She will literally change his diaper outside, on the couch, in the pack and play, in the crib, wherever. I am just not like that. I like it to all be organized and in one spot. Plus, I don't like finding dirty diapers. Another thing I didn't know about, and no one really told me until, I don't know, it was, I think he started to have maybe a rash on his skin, or I don't even remember. But it was very late in the game that you needed special detergent. Um, I just bought one bottle. I think it's called Deft Drift. I got it at Toys R Us. Um, it is expensive. It's more expensive than regular laundry detergent. But I would wash all baby's clothes with that laundry detergent and I would use an unscented um, dryer sheet and just cuts down on allergies, especially when they're new baby skin. Um, but once I went through that one bottle, I was done. It probably took a couple months and after that I just started using our regular um, detergent, which was an unscented detergent. Um, and I still use an unscented detergent for his and my clothes. Um, my husband likes scented detergent, so he does his clothes separate. But Yes, some babies need it longer, but I went through one bottle and then just went to unscented. So get that ahead of time. Don't be running to Toys R Us like I was um, at the very last minute. And one essential that I did not use last time, but I'm so excited for this time, and I know it's going to be a hit, I, at least I think it will be, 
Um, I only got two, just in case it's not a hit. But these are two, they're called lap shoulder gowns, zero to six months. Um, and they're little baby gowns. And the little hands can come through here. But then you can flip this over and it's like a mitten. So a built-in mitten in the little onesie. And I'll probably um, swaddle over this. I do, I cannot find my swaddles, but I did get swaddle knees with my son because I could not swaddle. Like the nurses in the hospital swaddle so well. They had that kid like in a straight jacket. It is so tight. Every time I would wake up or he would wake up, I would look, he'd be out of the swaddle. So um, I ended up with a swaddle knee that had the Velcro. And so I would just Velcro. It's pretty dummy proof in the middle of the night when you're tired, exhausted, you're not worried about tucking and tightening and all of that. You just put it on, put the Velcro on, and you're done. Much, much easier. So I suggest getting the swaddle knees. Under that, I would normally put pajamas. I think under that this time, I'm going to do this, especially since it'll be summer. Very light. It's got the cute little built-in mittens. And then look for diaper changes instead of unzipping that stupid leg or even the buttons. The buttons on the pajamas drive me nuts. Try not to buy newborn pajamas with buttons. Um, I have no patience for that middle of the night. My husband had no patience for that middle of the night. And it just makes you very frustrated. <laughs> the zipper is much easier. I know some people love the buttons. I don't know why. I would avoid them. But I'm going to think I'm going to do this under the swaddle me and the dress. And even though it's a boy but it's a gown um so it comes and it tightens around their little legs so his little legs will probably be like right around here and then you know this comes like this and you just take the elastic and you peel it up change their diaper no buttons no zipper no taking their legs completely out change their diaper and roll this back down um i just feel like it's so so much easier and it can get over their shoulders if they poop you know these peel back so um yeah i got two of these super excited for those i think they'll be awesome um but i will let you know maybe it won't be a newborn essential and i will hate them but i'm just like so excited about them that i can't even believe i didn't know about them last time so maybe it's kind of a new thing but i don't know i'll let you know though um when i know so i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching my newborn essentials bye